Hey there quantum explorers welcome back to our quantum journey today we have got something really cool to explore together we are going to generate and visualize a random quantum state in 3d using python so that we can call it as qubits representation using blot sphere yeah it's going to be awesome as it sounds but don't worry you don't need phd in quantum physics to understand this we will break it down step by step All right, first thing first, we are going to need some Python magic for this. So make sure you have NumPy, Matplotlib and Qtip installed in your system. For example, I have not installed Qtip till now in my system. So I'm going to install it in my system right now in front of you. Similarly, you can install other libraries as well. So let's see how we can install it. So you just have to type pip install Q and we can see it is getting installed so you can see it is successfully installed in my system and similarly you can install other libraries as well like numpy and matplotlib which we are going to use in our code we start by importing these libraries and we are going to install this qtip as full library and we are importing everything from this library so do, so we don't need to use the alias name for this library we can use directly functions available in this library so i'm just uh, executing this statement and you can see this ex this statement is executed successfully if you are seeing error then most probably qtip is not installed or any other library so make sure you install all these three libraries uh, if you are seeing error in it next we define the number of qubits we want in our quantum state for this video we will keep it simple with just one qubit then we generate random quantum states so let's define our number of qubits num underscore qubits is equals to one now after executing it let's see how we can define a state so for defining the state we are using a function called rand underscore cat so this is how we can define a random state for our quantum bit so rand underscore cat and now we have to define number of states for this qubit so we are just using 2 to the power num underscore qubit so this line generates random quantum state vector and 2 to the power num qubits calculates the dimension of state vector which is 2 in this case because there is one qubit only. So it generates a random two dimensional quantum state vector. Now we just have to visualize this state using matplotlib library. So I'm just going to create a figure object using matplotlib library. And then we have to add a 3D subplot to this figure. So this line just add 3D subplot to the figure and 111 argument that indicates there is only one subplot in one by one grid and projection is of course 3D because we want to visualize it as 3D plot. Now we have to create blot sphere visualization object. So using blot class we can create this and it takes an argument called axis which is to specify where to plot the blot sphere. So we are just providing it the axis where to plot this blot sphere. Now in this sphere object we want to add one state using a function called add states so which state we are going to add that is this state so we are just going to add state here like this now it's almost done but we have to use another function to show our final blot sphere that is qubit representation using a function called show so using this object we can call this function called show so this is the final statement and now after executing it we are sorry sorry for the mistake we have to use this sphere here and now you can see our qubit is represented as we were expecting 
if i execute this statement again because this is a random thing which is going going to be generated and if i execute this statement again then the state is changed and you will see this arrow on some somewhere else so if i execute it again here and if i execute this these five statements again you will see the arrow key somewhere else so this is how you can generate random qubits representation using matplotlib library and qtip and numpy so i hope you have understood now in this program you can skip few lines which are you know are not necessary but uh, for improving your uh, plots you can use this matplotlib library but it is not necessary so if i comment these two lines and i remove this still i am going to see i can see my blot sphere as it is so this is another way to achieve this uh, qubit representation but uh, this is not uh, recommended because you will not be able to play with the figure if you do not use matplotlib library you have to use only a uh, sphere object to uh you know uh, play with this figure so yeah this is the another way so i hope you have understood this uh, small program to represent qubits and i hope it is interesting to see how qubits are coming automatically so thanks for watching it have a nice day